Welcome to my Hunter Legendary Items Guide for the new Li revamp. In this video we're going to take a look at which items to get and which traceries to use to maximize your DPS output on Hunter. When you're selecting which weapons to get as a Hunter, if you're playing an Elf, you get the 5% racial bow damage. Obviously you will pick a Hunter's bow. I don't think crossbows count as bows in this bonus here so if you're playing an elf which is the best race for hunter you would definitely go with the bow a lot of races also have a five percent bonus for example for sword it's not much but why not get sword if you're like an elf or a man just to get that extra five percent on your melee skills but of course you can pick any of the other melee weapons and be just fine as a hunter Looking at the Heraldric Traceries, there's pretty much only two options for a Hunter. You have the Serpent and the Sparrow. The difference here is the Sparrow gives more vitality, but less agility and physical mastery. I prefer always going for the Sparrow. The extra vitality is much more valuable than the extra mastery you can get from picking the Serpent. So as a hunter, I would recommend putting two of the heraldry of the sparrow on your weapons. Now moving on to the word of power slots. You have five slots on a hunter, you have three on your bow and two on your melee weapon. First we're going to take a look at the far left section of this uh, setup that I have going on here. All the blue ones you see here is something that you might want to consider if you're running high tier where you're taking a lot of damage. But for now we're just going to forget about those and try to go for the best damage. AoE, effect target count and ranged attack extension are kind of niche like if there's a lot of AoE you might want to bring this but it's not really a hunter tracery. And the ranged attack extension is something that I could only see it being useful in the moors. Or if you want to be far away from a raid boss. But more than likely you're not going to be doing the ranged attack extension. Which leaves us with these seven traceries that I think are the best for hunter damage. The three on the right are what I consider must picks on any bow. Single target critical chance and single target damage. That's your main damage as a hunter, must pick for any hunter. Feel induction speed will always be good on hunter. Speeding up your inductions is really useful. And then moving over to your melee weapon, your two word of powers. I believe the most damage output will be gained from the damage over time series but if you're in a fight with aoe the aoe criticals and aoe damage can be useful and these also affect the split shot so it's not that bad but i think damage over time will give you more dps on a single target so my advice for hunters is to go with the top five but if you want have a swappy sword with the aoe damage on it you can switch between AoE and dot damage. Next up we have the Word of Mastery traceries. Six on each weapon. And what I've picked here are what I think are the best 12 for a standard hunter build. Burn hot damage is always good. Getting more damage on your big cooldown. Focus bow critical multiplier speaks for itself. More damage on your crits. Heart Seeker damage, one of your biggest skills gets more damage. Every crit on induction bows hits harder, must pick. More induction bow damage, of course you want that. Merciful shot cooldown and more crit damage on merciful shot is really good. Quick shot gets more crit chance and magnitude in precision stance, which is the stance that every hunter should be playing. Mainly because of this legacy, precision stance and critical magnitude. This is a must pick tracery. Quickshot damage, you want quickshot to hit harder. Quickshot is one of your highest damaging skills since you can spam it so often. The strength quickshot slow tracery, you don't pick for the slow and strength. 
you pick for the bonus focused application chance. That's pretty nice to have. Upshot damage, of course you want more damage on your hardest hitting skill. And more damage on Swift Bow is a no-brainer. There's three more traceries I would give a second thought. Needful Haste duration plus 15% on the duration of the buff that you get by using your skills. Not really needed, this is going to be up pretty much all the time since you hit your skills so often. Rain of Arrows damage is something you would consider if you have, like I said before, if you make a swap sword for your AoE damage, you would want to put Rain of Arrows damage on that swappy as well. Some hunters might even consider replacing the bonus application quickshot with Rain of Arrows, just for simplicity's sake. You could always give up the application chance of bonus focus for Rain of Arrows damage. And the final tracer we're going to look at is trap damage. Traps are something you really only use before combat, before starting a boss fight or something. So this legacy can just be put on a swappy. You want to put down traps before a fight, just have a swap out sword or something where you put down your traps and then swap back to your main weapons. But other than that, I think these 12 are by far the best for Hunter. With the Rain of Arrows instead of bonus application chance being a viable option. And finally, we're going to look at the Word of Craft. You have two slots on each weapon. And as you can see from what's lighting up for me, I have chosen four of the Ascendant Light. The reason you want two Ascendant Light is because it will buff your Exsanguinate uh, bleed damage on Hunter. And there's not really a reason that I chose the four set for the outgoing healing. The only reason I picked two more light is for the critical rating. There's not really anything else you want as a hunter. So as of right now, only these four Word of Craft traceries have set bonuses. I think they were talking about adding more on the other Word of Craft ones later. But as of right now, this is the best for hunter light type damage. The fire type damage does not affect your fire oil, so it's kind of pointless for Hunter. Maybe in the future they'll add like a 2 set for range damage. And in that case you would probably go 2 light and 2 ranged, whatever that is. For now, you want to have the light type damage and why not just take 2 more light for the crit, it doesn't really matter. But that's what's best for Hunter right now, in my opinion. When you finish your allies, they should look something like this. Your sword on the left and your bow on the right. I don't have a swappy for AoE yet, but you would just have a swappy sword for AoE damage if you prefer that. But that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped. Leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord, and I'll see you in the next one.